Hey, what's up y'all? This is not gonna be a mushroom hunting video because I've done found a mushroom several days ago. It's a reishi mushroom uh, used in Chinese traditional medicine. And this is not a video about Chinese traditional medicine because I'm not gonna tell you the health benefits that are supposed to come with this mushroom or say that they're true or not true. Basically, I found a mushroom and I've identified it. It's Ling Chi, and I can show you the scientific name on the screen here. But I've just been curious about it because I see these mushrooms out and because I'm not so much into the natural medicine or any kind of medicine, really. I haven't messed with it, but I just thought, I wonder how bad it tastes. So I'm gonna harvest these mushrooms and show them to you and we'll boil them up and I'll try it and we'll see how awful it tastes. And you know what, if it's not that terrible, I might start harvesting some and drinking a little bit of the tea and seeing, you know, if it does have any health benefits for me or if I feel any difference. So let's go check it out. I'll show you what I got. So here's a big tree. Well, it was a big tree and it fell over and recent storms and stuff it's been rotted for a long time but it finally collapsed and I noticed the other day that these are coming out of the bottom and this is some of the young uh, rishis you can see right there the little varnish color at the tip of my finger so it's not it doesn't look like what you think it would because it's still in the baby stages and I found it around here too. So it's popping up. Kind of off, it's off the wood, but it looks like it's coming out of the ground in some places. And like I said, it's still really young and trying to form. And there's probably gonna be quite a bit of it if it makes it. But over here, there is some on the rotted half of this. And here it is. So, yeah, I've just been seeing it. These are good specimens. And I find this a lot when I'm mushroom hunting, but I always pass it up because, like I said, I'm not all that interested in natural medicine at the moment. But curiosity got the best of me, so I'm going to harvest these up. And I just think they're beautiful, regardless of any medicinal value. They have that varnish color to them, and they're just, yeah, I just think they're really cool and pretty. and the knife is dull. little twig thing. And grew right into whatever that is. It actually looks like part of an older mushroom. So these guys definitely need some cleaning, but we'll clean them up and bring them up to the kitchen and see what's up. So I have it in and I cut off part of that bad part I'm not really trying to be conservative or save any of it because I have this piece in my hand will be plenty enough for what I want to do because I think they use about one mushroom per gallon is what I saw on the internet and I bruised up the underside and it's bruised up brown and I don't know if you can see that but it is a polypore yeah you can sort of see the surface there uh, the flesh is a lot darker than what I thought, but 
Get a really strong scent. I know y'all can't smell it on the video, but it's got that real strong mushroomy uh, scent to it, which is really cool. And so when they say reishi mushroom, according to what I found, is there's actually five different uh, five different species in the same genus that would go for reishi. Now this one is more specifically Ling Chi, and this is what I'm gonna find here in the southeast more often than not. Uh, and I see a lot of this in the woods, and this isn't the best looking one I've ever found, but this was like a hundred yards from my house. And just out of curiosity today, I wanted to try it. So yeah, let me boil it up and see what's, what's going on. It's really, this is pretty fresh. It's really pliable and I'm gonna tear it up anyway, but it's really tough. So sort of like <clears throat> the shelf like mushrooms that you find on logs and stuff. That's the texture and the feel of it. You see it's, it is sort of spongy and all that, but it's still like really tough and leathery. So I'm gonna rip it up and boil it and let's see what we get. 30 minutes later, probably an hour later, I boiled it, got a nice color tea. First impressions is my whole house smells really nice, like a mushroom smell, if you like that. So I'm hoping it tastes mushroomy, but here goes. Rishi Ling Chi Tea. Still hot. Tastes like mushrooms. And like a real weak tea taste. Alright, well there it is. Rishi mushroom tea. I really don't mind it. It's not much different than the plain tea that I drink at home because I don't sweeten my tea anymore. And you could probably put honey or sugar in it. And yeah, let's see if it puts me in a state of zen or whatever. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be good. Bye.